Welcome to Grip TV. I'm your host, Warren Davis. Welcome back to Greek TV. This is Tima BD. Welcome back to Deck TV. I'm your host, Maya Anderson. My friends call me Maya Anderson. Welcome to GRIP TV. I'm your host, Warren Davis, and I'm the director also of the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project. Today on my show, I have two very special guests. They're from the Winfield section of Philadelphia, which is near and dear to me because I also am from the Winfield section of Philadelphia. They're here today to discuss a new program called Play Towards Prevention. It's about child abuse pre prevention and I think you're gonna really enjoy this show, so stay tuned. Coming right up. My name is Kayla Taylor, and you're watching Grip TV about my organization, P2P. Welcome to Grip TV. I'm Warren Davis once again with another episode. With me today, I have Katora Holman, and I have Kayla Taylor, and they are from Play Toward Prevention. Katora and Kayla, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Very welcome. So, my first question, I guess, would be for Kayla. Have you ever seen someone being bullied in school or in the neighborhood, or have you ever been bullied yourself? And if so, how does that make you feel? Um, I have seen people being bullied in school, and uh, no, I've never been bullied myself. But seeing that, um, it made me feel bad for that person because they shouldn't have to go through that. And, you know, I just want everybody to feel nice. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, for, maybe I didn't mention folks, but this is mother and daughter team as well. So for mom, I have a question for you. Uh, what major responsibilities do you have uh, in your occupation as a social worker for families. Okay, so I currently work in the community-based prevention part of my job and basically what I am charged to do is to connect families to community resources, um, hopefully to deter from formal child welfare activities. So, do you see sometime um, child abuse from maybe as a result of drug abuse in yes. families? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Fantastic. So, I guess uh, back to Ka uh, Kayla. I understand that you had a project for school recently, the Passion Project, I believe it was called. What exactly um, was the pro uh, that project and... Um, what class was it for, and uh, what did you actually do for that project? Okay, so the class the project was for was for, for Miss McKenna's ELA class, which is English Language Arts. And um, the project we had to do, we had to pick an injustice that made us angry, or we wanted to change, and I picked child abuse. Mm. Um, and I chose that because, you know, um, I know my mom works for children like that, and it also is very sad to see what goes on in a child's life and mm. knowing that they shouldn't go through that, but knowing that you can't relate to them and how they feel, but you can also try to help them. That's a powerful project. Uh, how old are you? I'm 13. 13? Uh, what school do you go to? St. Francis Cabrini. That's a, that's a very uh, interesting project. Mom, let me ask you. What is the connection between your organization, P2P, and the project she just described? How did that come about? How did you guys get to name this, that, and um, what was the concept behind all that, simply being a school project first? 
So when she came to me with the project that she had to do, basically she was coming for information, um, being as though I work in that field. So through the information that we researched online and the information that I was able to give to her, she pretty much came up with the slogan, every child deserves a smile. And we went from there. Pretty Every much. child deserves a smile. Yes. So where did the play tour prevention come in at? We So she originally had um, play for prevention. And with my mind working and where she came from, I figured this would possibly be something that we can do on a grander level. Okay. So I started searching names and pretty much that's how we got to play towards prevention because play for prevention was already being used. Very interesting concept. Very interesting concept. Uh, okay, so my next question would be for the both of you. So you two recently organized a fundraising event that brought families together for a day of play. So uh, Kayla, let's start with you. Give us the 411. Let people know what that event was all about, what you guys did, the where, the what, et cetera. Tell me about that. The where was at Smith Playground. Okay. And um, we had children and children and their mothers and fathers and family members come out and okay. play different types of games. We had um, a parachute, we had scavenger hunt, and we had like egg races. And it was a little park there, so they got to play over there too. So, yeah. So did you feed the people? Yes, we did. So what did you feed them? Um, we had Chick-fil-A salad and fruit salad. Um, we had chicken and um, tasty cakes, chips. Um, Asaya mom made this little lemonade. Okay. Mm -hmm. But And then we had uh, Wawa juices. Okay. So. Wonderful, wonderful. Before we go to mom for some more on that subject, tell me about that scavenger game. What was that all about? Okay, so the scavenger game, you had to find different ribbons, um, and each stop that you had, it had a fact about child abuse and oh. different types of things that happen in child abuse. So hmm. then um, once you found it, you had to go back to the um, thing, and you had to put it in the cardboard okay. that said Child Abuse Awareness Month and so once you got that you got your prize. Wow. So mom, why don't you fill me in on some of that? Maybe she didn't talk okay. about Okay, so the scavenger hunt was really interesting, especially trying to get it together, try to make it rhyme, to make sense, but not necessarily tell you the answers. So yeah. that was really um, interesting to do. So we had the parachute basically started off the whole event. And from there, you had to go to each station. We had um, potato sack races, like she said, we had the egg um, race. We had different places in the park you had to get to to get your next clue. Okay. So we tried to make it like in order for me to win, I really have to do all of these things. And right. I wanted to make it interactive as well as an educational piece to child abuse. So um, me and Kayla came up with all of the questions, oh, all wonderful. of the answers. It was, really, it was really cool to do this with her. So, you know, I was very happy to be able to bring her passion project to reality. And the end result, I think, being that the families could all play together, Yes. I guess that kind of like is a um, a deterrent to child abuse. Yes. Somewhat, huh? Okay. It was to create a stronger bond with families. Can you say that one more time loud for me? It was to create a stronger bond with families. Wow, that's powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, at this point, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come right back with more from Katora and from Kayla from Play to Towards Prevention. And we'll be right back. I got Nicole Sugars and Shock him to the road all the time. Just had a few drinks. This can't be happening. Are we clear? Clear. We just buzzed. Just buzzed? You didn't tell us that, sir. You're right. This isn't happening. It'll be fine. Eh, 
I feel good. Really? No, not really. Buzz driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is trunk driving. Looking for these? You drive Buzz, it could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. My name is Jordan Drummery. I am 12 years old and a martial arts student. It takes a lot of hard work and concentration to fly through the air like I do. I can fly even higher without drugs and alcohol. You can too. This message brought to you by Grip TV's Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project and Pro Martial Arts of Boothwin, Pennsylvania. Welcome back to GRIP TV and the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project. Again, I'm Warren Davis. With me is Katora Holman and Kayla Taylor from Play Towards Prevention. And we are back with our next question, which will go to Katora. Katora, why did you and K Kayla choose CAPA, C-A-P-A, and Isaiah's Liver Fund to be the recipients of the proceeds from your first event? Well, in Kayla's passion project, which is what this came from, she identified CAPA as the organization that she wanted to assist in their prevention efforts. So, Asaya came up because I was thinking maybe we need to do something for someone local, because CAPA is in Kansas. What does that stand for? Child Abuse Prevention Association. Okay. So um, we basically stuck to what she originally wanted to do, which was with the CAPA organization. And I met Asaya's mother at a different event, and we were talking, and it just so happened that she also um, grew up in the system, in the child welfare system. Asaya. Her Asaya. mother. Her mother. Yes. So that's how we got to talk in and um, with her daughter being a liver transplant recipient, I figured, let's help her out. So she's had a transplant already? She's had two. Two transplants already? Yes. Okay. She's and so you decided to help her mother and her, yeah. the family along yes. with the proceeds from yes. your first Play 2 towards prevention event. Yes. Wow, that's powerful. That's really nice. Thank you. Really nice. So you guys received a citation, let's say. You got a citation from the city of Philadelphia and Councilman Curtis Jones Jr. honoring you and your mother's efforts to bring awareness to child abuse. Can you read that for us? Um, yes. Okay. Read loud for me. Philadelphia City Council joins the Honorable Councilman Curtis Jones Jr. in honoring and recognizing Kayla Monet Taylor on the occasion of her seventh grade passion project and terrible event, Play Towards Prevention. Kayla Taylor is a beautiful, vibrant, intelligent, artistic, thoughtful, and brave young scholar who attends St. Francis Cabrini Catholic School. She has decided to put her best efforts towards by focusing on Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month. She has designed and created a day to host a day of play for children and their families at Smith Playground. She enjoys being a big sister and playing with her little brother. She knows she is fortunate to be able to do so, which is why she chose to focus on play towards prevention, bringing awareness to child abuse. Kayla's future goals is to 
attend Newman Beretti High School and to further her education at Penn College in Medicine at Mill or at Millersburg University, studying to become a veterinarian or a pediatrician. She has dedicated her life to educating family, friends, communities, and whoever she comes in contact with. Kayla has made a positive impact to many people who have been enriched by her knowledge and enchanted by her commitment and has contributed towards the growth and development of our communities. The Honorable Councilman Curtis Jones Jr. commends Kayla Monet Taylor to dedicate service to Philadelphia and its citizens. Wish her well in any and all future Aventadors and a life filled with good health, happiness, joys of family and friends. Congratulations. Wow, let me see that. I'm going to sit that over there so I can clap for you. Congratulations. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. And you read really, really, really well. And you read fast and well. And, and, and that was pretty good. I can't read that fast. I was been all over the place. They was, I had to do about five or six takes of this show just to read that one citation. That was very good. Very good. So, Katura. Um, what are a couple of your short-term and a couple of your long-term goals for the P2P uh, project? Short-term goals basically is to get our name out there. Um, I just recently did the paperwork to make our organization a 501c3 charitable wonderful, organization. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully that will be completed in the next couple of months. Okay. Um, Long-term goals is to pretty much take play towards prevention as far as it can possibly go. I think that the concept of play is very important when it comes to families, when it comes to the community as well. Um, and I think how she designed play towards prevention is to do just that bring families and communities together wonderful so whatever i can do to usher my baby on i will definitely do that wonderful 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 yes. and you know what it, it, it is is a uh, blessing to have a mother that's so supportive of your efforts and it's a blessing to have a daughter that's so brainiac come up with stuff like this, mm -hmm. get the mom involved, and that's her, what she do for her occupation and all. I think you guys want to go very, very far with uh, play towards prevention. Thank you. And I, and I wish you the best of luck. And then whatever I can do with GRIP TV and the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project to support you guys, we will do it. Hopefully we can collaborate soon. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. How can donors and or volunteers reach you guys? Um, we have an Instagram page, and it's called Play Towards Prevention um, underscore. Okay. So, yeah. Play Towards Prevention underscore. Yeah, and okay. it's like all one word, then it's underscore. Okay, so you don't have a website yet? Not just yet. Okay, but that's in the works, I'm yes, sure. Yes, we are okay. working. Okay, and what about Facebook? Are you on Facebook? I mean, other than myself, but... You're on Facebook, we, your yeah. personal Facebook? Yeah, but... No Facebook for the organization? Yeah. Not just yet. Okay, I'm sure that's on the way too. It is. Because <laughs> social media, I guess, as you know, is the way to go. Let me let me ask you guys one more thing. If you knew of a child that was being abused and the child came to you, what would you tell the child to do once you look right in that camera as if you're talking to that child and tell that child what they should do? I would tell the child to be strong, just fight through it because one day she she will like one day she will be okay. One day she will get through it. One day she would have everything she ever wanted. One day something could all just change. So just be strong. Cool. And mom, your last question would be, as a parent, what would you say to other parents? who may be abusing children. Look right Play. at that camera and tell them. Play. Um, I find in my job that a lot of our resources talk about play therapy, how just smiling and laugh, laughing can truly change how you're feeling in that day. The whole dynamic. I would tell the parent, just take a step back 
because normally we're mad about a host of things, not that one thing that that child did. So take some time, think about it, come back, talk, and play. Play towards prevention. That's wonderful, I like that. The whole concept, I love it. Play towards prevention. Well folks, you heard it live right here on GRIP TV and the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project from Keturah and Kayla, mother and daughter team. And uh, you'll be seeing them more, you'll be hearing more about them, and hopefully you'll, you'll come out and you'll support them, not just with your time, but with your dollars as well. And with that, I'm Warren Davis. Thank you guys for coming on the show. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you for Appreciate having Appreciate you us. and good luck and best of luck to you. May God, God bless you in your endeavors. And with that, that's it, folks. Another round of Grip TV. And uh, until then, we'll see you again. Stay tuned. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
We, let's not let them down. Yes. Let's not let our children down. Right. When they walking around, no, no, like zombies. Over the ass up. Pop, pop. My mom, what was you doing to stop this? Right. How did you stop this? Right. Now I'm strung out. Now I'm hooked on this. That's right. Come on, come on, Winfield. Right. Get with it. Stand behind. No more we. No more we. No more we. No more we. Enough is enough. 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 Oh no, it's written in blue. Oh, is it? Yeah, she needs a darker one. Do not be fooled by the open door to medical marijuana. That's right. We are not foolish enough to believe right. that medical will be enough. Right. What they will do is open the door for recreational marijuana. For liberating our Yes. Enough is enough. We, we, we can't take it anymore. No saturation in our community. No. Who is bringing us in? Who is asking us as a community if this is okay with us? Is this all right with your children? Take it down here. The governor said he never made a community that did not need him. Yes, he did. Our state representative, Marty Peters, said that.